All right, so this is the video that I said that I would make uh, a little while ago, and now it's here. So I'm gonna show you guys how you get Fortnite porting on your computer. So the first thing you need to do is obviously you do need to have uh, Fortnite downloaded. You need Fortnite downloaded. It's the only way for the program to rip uh, models from the game. So you do need like the most recent iteration of Fortnite. Like today, the new Fortnite Mares update came out. So make sure you update your game on your laptop or your PC. And once you have the game updated, you're good to go. So all you need to do now is just look up Fortnite porting and you're gonna to go to the uh, Discord. You're gonna click the Discord link and you do need to join the Discord. Once you're on the Discord, you see I already have it open. You're gonna go over here to Fortnite porting, V3. You wanna download the most recent one right here, Fortnite porting version 3.13. Now, I already have it installed and I know it's lazy on my part, but I'm not going to go through this whole thing because it's honestly a pain in the ass to do, but it's still extremely easy to follow along. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it properly because it does take a while to set up. So once you have it downloaded, it is going to say that it's a suspicious file right here, right? They'll say it's a dangerous download. It's not. Don't worry about it. So once you have it downloaded, you are going to want to open your files and make a new folder in your documents so you can see here i have a i have uh, folders for both my blender and my fortnite porting so if i was to so if i was to download fortnite porting i'd make a new folder and i'd call it fortnite porting i'm just gonna call it two that way i don't have that error so you make a new file and you would drag the program into your documents right another thing is that you should if you haven't already start using like the actual program download a blender instead of the steam version the steam version i don't know if it was just me but i had so many issues trying to get it working it just wouldn't do it so i would just say download the the actual like program blender and also on top of that um you might have to backtrack a little bit now fortnite porting i believe supports 4.2 and higher um so you can see here you, you have all these uh, older versions right here and let's say you want 4.5 you're gonna click 4.5 and then you can select on any of these make sure it's the one that matches uh your your computer system so mine would be uh blender 4.5 windows yada 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 so you would download that and then on top of that go back to your documents and make a new blender file in your documents so i, I already have it in here you're gonna have the secondary folder right here and then you're gonna have your um your launcher your launcher right there so once you have both of those downloaded what you then need to do is open your program and you're gonna go over here to the plugin and if it's not there already like it is here you need to either first of all turn this on right you turn that on if it's not already there and then you refresh and i don't need to because i already you can see it's it's trying its best but i already have the pro <laughs> i already have the program yeah and it'll say that it's it, it should say successful if not you have to manually do it so you would click the plus go into your documents find your blender and select that and then it'll drop in and then it should say that it's good to go now there's a lot of problems like i said i had so many problems with this you might too that's why the fortnite uh porting discord has like literally like blender plugin support for like everything um because we all have problems with this fucking add-on um it's worth it but it's it's a pain in the ass to set up anyway so once you have it downloaded what you are now going to do is um you can close it and you're gonna open up blender so i'm gonna open up blender right now and what you gotta do now is you gotta go to edit preferences you're gonna go to add-ons and just look up fortnite and it should be the fortnite porting you don't want blender open may i add do not have blender open when you are setting up the porting uh add-on you don't open blender until you have the actual add-on like downloaded into your documents so once that's done you can go into your preferences and enable the fortnite porting and after that it should work so now i'm just gonna open up fortnite porting again and once it loads it's gonna have all these like pack chunks that it has to break down 
um, for a little bit. Also, do note you do need to like link your Discord to the hat on, which is totally fine. Just go here. Um, and we did just get the new Fortnite Nightmares update, so I think I'm gonna try and do. Is Ghostface in the files? Uh, no, I guess he's not. Um, let's. Just, I don't know. Let's do Doja Cat. Yeah, yeah, Doja Cat. Is she's new to the game now? I'm just gonna do that. That. I'm gonna click export, and you're gonna see it's just gonna gray out once it's done. Go back here. Your blender might freeze for a little bit, and there you go. It is all here, including the uh, textures and whatnot and you do have the choices of your rigs and whatnot i already made a whole video about that but that is how you get your fortnite porting installed i hope you guys enjoyed the video a like comment subscribe is greatly appreciated and i'll talk to you beautiful people later that is it for now Bye bye